Uh, my name is Jessica Donation. I am the interim CEO of the Arts and Culture Trust. And we've got some exciting plans for 2023. One of our highlights obviously being our Act Nieloha scholarship program um, that will be launching really, really soon. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Happy New Year, Jessica. How are you doing? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, much needed break in December. I think everyone really felt the pace of last year emerging from COVID. Um, yeah. But fresh, fresh, ready for action. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Let's get the ball rolling. So you closed 2022 um, as Arts and Culture Trust with the bank. You awarded a recipient um, in October of, of the Nyoloha scholarship. And can you tell me a bit um, of maybe some changes that you've seen or what it means for the creative industry in South Africa, because that is a major milestone. Absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously a very, very exciting time. We were able to award not only one scholarship uh, in the arts and culture sector, but two, um, which was a huge reveal surprise for us. Um, on the evening and in addition to a one-year internship for another young dancer at Moving Into Dance, the iconic Moving Into Dance based in Newtown. Yeah. Um, so it's been absolutely tremendous. I mean, I think Liam Rose, our visual arts scholar who won, um, you know, unfortunately did not have the resources to go to university, he has already entered the job market, but now for the first time in his life has the opportunity to professionally pursue his dream. Um, and he is going to Wits University, I believe, this year mm -hmm. um, to study fine art. And then Marang Makwene, an incredible, incredible young dancer, um, studied at NSA for high school. And she'll be joining Lamta uh, in Cape Town, which is also a really prestigious performing arts academy. That's really a fantastic launch pad for, um, you know, triple threat performers. Yeah. And yeah, these two young individuals will have the opportunity to to really shine. <laughs> Amazing. This is really exciting. And I saw that the scholarship recognizes people from the ages of 17 to 25. And there's certain fields that you look at. Can, can you tell us a bit more about that? Absolutely. Um, we identify many of the fields in performing and visual arts. Um, so we do look at uh, singers, musicians, dancers, actors, uh, contemporary performers, visual artists, and also this year we're expanding a bit on our digital arts category as well, which will include uh, digital drawing and animation as well. So those are the categories that we're currently catering for for this group. Fantastic. And um, to, to meet the requirements, do you have to have an acceptance letter from the university or can you immediately um, get your, your metric results and apply for the Nyoloha scholarship? So the only requirement to apply is that you qualify for university exemption. Obviously we know when you're doing your prelims, et cetera, that's the first port of call. Are you eligible to go and study at a university? Um, mm -hmm. Once you have that um, and those records are submitted to us in your application, you can apply. And then obviously we would encourage, mentor and coach um, the young learners that are school leaving um, to apply to their respective universities where they would want to go and study. Uh, for the scholarship to be paid out, you absolutely need your acceptance letter from a university um, because the scholarship amount gets paid directly to the institution. Okay, makes a lot of sense. And can we talk about the collaboration between um, hospitality giants, uh, Southern Sun and one of the biggest banks being NetBank, um, the collaboration with arts and culture, I'm pretty sure that has bolstered um, the progress of, of, of the scholarship entirely. Can you tell us a bit more about that? And what have you seen um, from, from collaborating with these? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's uh, just a correction, Sun International um, and Sun yes. International. Um, and yes, NetBank as well. I, I think that their contribution and their vision um, really is escalating the caliber of the project. Um, it's always uh, an immense privilege to have two big sponsors on board. Um, and I think beyond the, the sponsorship and the continued support of these two organizations that are further committed to this program, there is also the opportunity for um, further professional engagement with our scholarship winners 
and finalists. And we've seen this last year where um, Nedbank actually recruited and commissioned previous uh, finalists from visual arts yeah. to participate in the Nedbank International Polo event. And there are further opportunities available. And I think particularly in hospitality, as well, where we'll connect with Sun International this year to try and see how we can connect previous winners and also the winners and finalists of this year with partners that can provide um, solid opportunities for them in the professional industry space. Yeah. And, and Jessica, talking of finalists, I'm pretty sure it's a process to get to number one. Can you tell us what um, the process incorporates of is there certain programs that are that are placed Absolutely. Um, I mean, we've got quite a, a thorough application process. Um, it's going to be a little bit uh, different this year because everyone's experiencing quite a lot of issues with connectivity. Um, you know, even today we're having a bit of a delay. Yeah. yeah. But there will be video submissions for the performing artists. Um, and there will be portfolio submissions, digital portfolio submissions for the visual and digital artists. Um, based on that and the qualifying application criteria style, um that will be organized from there our panel of experts will select who is going to go through from the applicants into the training and mentorship phase which is a three-month uh, immersive experience it is online because we're catering to all nine provinces um and throughout this process um the people that are participating in the program will get certain tasks, will be rated according to their performance, progress, artistic merit. Um, and at the end of this training period, the mentors will select the top 15 out of the entire cohort to make it through to what we call finals week, where we bring everyone to Joburg to meet as a group, to learn from each other, together to construct a performance and an exhibition style event for the visual artists um, and obviously at the end of that week is the gala and this is where we select the best of the best to receive the unique opportunity of the bursary or of the scholarship. All right this is a really exciting um, process I have to say and um, lastly Jessica for anyone that's interested in, in entering for 2023 um, I know a date has not been disclosed yet from what I read but um what can you advise them to do? Um, so I can leak a little bit because uh, social TV is a good friend of ours. Um, the applications are going to open on the 27th of January. So that is in a few weeks time. Um, applications can be accessed on our website at www.act.org.za forward slash Nieloha. And it will be widely publicized on our social pages. So anyone that wants to pick up on that, uh, please follow our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and we will, of course, be doing um, a wide range of public um, marketing and PR as well. Mm -hmm. So watch the Arts and Culture Facebook page, especially, um, for that information. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica. We appreciate your time. Do have a fantastic day. And please familiarize yourself with the ACT Arts and Culture Trust website. If you are interested, this is the opportunity for you. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks, Nukatilla.